Hello everyone, welcome to the webinar. Welcome to the four shifts professional women take to skyrocket their career. Now we don't have a ton of time today, we only have about 35 minutes, so I'm gonna get right to it. Okay, so who this is for? Well, this is for professional women who really want to skyrocket the career and take things to a whole new level. This is professional women who feel like no one sees the real value or who've hit a glass ceiling. And this is for you if you want to love what you do, be fulfilled and have a lot of balance in your life. So in the next 35 minutes, we're gonna give you the step-by-step -step game plan my clients are using to take their careers to a whole new level. We're gonna talk about how they're doing this without working endless hours, without giving up their personal lives and without burning themselves out. And how to command attention, gain respect, win trust and stand up for yourself. In the next 35 minutes, we're gonna talk about how to make the money you want while living in balance and being fulfilled in your career. How being too nice is the exact wrong strategy to grow your career and what to do about it. And how to do all of these while avoiding stepping on others. So my promise to you today, my promise to you is to give you a four-step game plan to break through the glass ceiling, get promoted, and skyrocket your career. Sound good? Cool. You're in the right place. So does this sound like you? Are you in a job that sucks the energy out of you and you want to get out of it? Are you sick of people walking all over you and feeling like a doormat? Deep down, do you feel like you are not good enough? Do you feel like you're unworthy, not worth it, or maybe unlovable? Do you lie awake at night, stressed and worried about money, your career, and how to get ahead so that you too have a shot at a better lifestyle? Are you working way too hard, working too many hours while burning yourself out, maybe you know, even taking work home with you and still not getting the recognition you totally deserve? You feel like no matter what you do, your career is stuck and stagnant and it's making you question yourself and your decisions. Well, here's a secret. None of these are the real problem. So if those sound like you, then I have good news. Again, none of these are the real problem. The real problem is that you haven't made what I call the shifts. This game plan consists of four shifts you need to make in order to massively scale up your career. And we're gonna talk about those in just a minute but once you make them, wow. So the real problem is you haven't made the shifts, the secrets to your success in your career. Once you make the shifts, you're gonna wake up every day, jumping out of bed, walking to work and meetings, thrilled because you make the money you deserve, you love what you do, no more sleepless nights. You have become a master at communicating and delivering massive value at work and helping create big results and you are seen as a valued leader. And you'll feel confident, you'll speak up, you'll stand up for yourself, and you will be valued and heard. Sound good? Also, once you follow these shifts, you're able to track the exact jobs, positions, and career that you want. No more begging for raises, promotions, and recognition. The people whom you looked up to before as role models come to you and ask you for advice. Trust me, this is the greatest feeling in the world when this happens. It's amazing. And you feel powerful and confident that you deserve a high paying kick ass job. That is what's gonna happen after you follow these shifts. But first, who am I? Who am I? Why should you listen to me? So my name is James Elliott and I'm the founder of Unleash Your Power and the Unleash Your Potential programs. I am the best selling author of Unleash Your Power, Stand Out, Take Action and Create the Success You Want. I'm also a mentor to many professional clients who want to skyrocket their career and of course their life. How did I discover these shifts? Well, let me tell you about it. So before we get too much further, let me tell you about these shifts and kind of a bit about myself. So I had been an underdog a lot of my earlier years, my earlier life. I was really bullied at school. I was always picked on, laughed at, rejected a lot. I even remember a specific time when I was in 12 in English class. I was the last one to be picked for a group project. No one wanted me in their group. 10 years later, I started my corporate job still believing like I was not good enough, resulting in me being picked last for leadership roles. I felt like I was stuck in a rut and it sucked. It's not a great feeling. 
So I studied advanced human psychology, self-empowerment. I attended seminars. I hired coaches and mentors and read tons of books to understand what was wrong with me. One day it occurred to me, people who have a high self-image have made these four shifts. And that's what made them so strong internally. In fact, so strong that they stopped worrying about what other people think. I made these four shifts in my life and my career, and I watched my life change right before my eyes. It was incredible. And I was fascinated. I became a certified international trainer, a mentor, and created my own workshops, trainings, and seminars. And people even started inviting me to give keynote speeches. So it was really cool. My clients who were stuck in their careers all of a sudden became managers, directors, vice presidents, and ultimately inspiring leaders. I've written two books. I've written many articles for workplace magazines, for the Huffington Post, and have been interviewed on many, many TV stations. And so if there's anyone who understands how to help you skyrocket your career, build your self-image and confidence, and be highly successful doing what you love, it's me. That is what we're going to be talking about today. That is why you should listen to me. So what I want to do today is pull back the curtain and show you what these top people are doing in terms of strategies and mindset so you can do the same because you can. And if you make these four shifts, there's no limit to how fast and how far you can take your career. And if you don't make these four shifts, you're going to sit there and your colleagues are going to make these shifts and it's going to look like or feel like you're standing still. So what I wanna do is I wanna walk you for the, through these four shifts right here in this session. So first shift number one, demolish the force field. Until you understand this, it's impossible to stand out from the crowd and have people really see your value. Once you do understand this shift, you will grow exponentially and so will your career, your fulfillment, and your value. There is a force field that's stopping people from succeeding, and that force field is debilitating. I'm talking about worry, fear, and anxiety. No matter what people do, it creeps into everything they do. And most people think they can use their willpower to overcome it and push through it, but they cannot. It's kind of like filling a bucket that has a hole in it. The reality is, if you don't put this force field in check, demolish, dismantle it, dismantle it, whatever, then you're guaranteed to fail. If you know how to break through this force field, then you are in charge of your life. Your chance of succeeding goes through the roof. So to demolish the force field, you need to immediately, immediately shift your mindset. You need to shift the fearful feelings, the negative thinking, and the fearful visualizations you see in your mind. You need to eliminate the negative focus and stop making up what probably won't even happen anyways. The monkey mind, the gremlins inside your head, or the devil on your shoulder, so to speak. No matter how much positive thinking you have, and no matter how much action you do, if you have you know, vision boards, you name it, if that fear, worry, anxiety creeps in and is the majority or a major part of your thinking, it will cancel out all the good things you are doing. And it's not, it's not good. It's not a great feeling. And you need to demolish this force field and this mindset. And you may think consciously you can do it all on your own. And yes, you can, but only after you work on the unconscious, deeper beliefs with some really powerful tools and strategies. I have tons of tools I can use. And the, the simplest and most powerful way to get you started and something powerful right now is to do this. Think about your future. What is that move you see? Is it empowering or is it disempowering? Do you see yourself as a CEO, a director? Can, can you see that? Whatever you want to be, can you see that and visualize it clearly? If not, how can you get there if you can't see it in your mind yet, right? This is why a lot of things you want are not coming to you enough, soon enough, fast enough. Trust me, I'm living proof of this. Worry will kill your dreams and it did to mine until I demolished the force field. And remember, doubt kills your inner goddess. Doubt literally kills your inner goddess. So now, the things you do want, this is second, the key to this, the second part of this, is visualize what you want clearly. Bring it closer, right in front of your nose. And lock that in. Have that awesome positive visualization right, right in front of you. And have it so big and bright and beautiful, that's all you can see is the visualization of what you want and who you want to be. Now, Mother Teresa, who really needs no introduction, and of course, Mahatma Gandhi, who helped free India from the British rule, were successful because they were able to manage the force field of worry, fear, anxiety, and just do and speak out about what was important. 
Let me tell you a little story about Jennifer, in fact. When she came to me, she was feeling like a failure and even living with imposter syndrome. She was doubting that she could ever be a successful corporate leader long term. She was even questioning herself as well and her own capabilities. She was struggling, frustrated, burnt out. She was working so hard and she was not getting far. Jennifer was always worrying, doubting herself, and trying hard to be liked and be seen as valuable at work. A voice in her head always would say it didn't work or it wouldn't work, that she wasn't good enough. And she was trapped under the force field of fear and worry, preventing her success no matter how hard she tried, how hard she worked, what, no matter what she did. And we worked together. And once she finished working with me, she learned a lot of ways to demolish that force field instantly. She was able to do what she needed to do, triple her income, which was incredible, and may have a massive, massive promotion. She went from zero to 60 really quickly. And of course, this created an incredible, fulfilling career for her. In her own words, thank you so much, James. This is going to make me CEO sooner than later. And there have been even talks about creating a specialty leader roles for me now. And, and this is Jennifer Kay. She's a, a director of IT at a large software company. So really cool story. So the bottom line here, keep that force field in check and be in control of your life and your results versus being controlled by your fears, beliefs, emotions, life, the, the monkey mind. Shift number two, awaken your superpower. After that initial force field is taken down, we may think that everything will be easy after that. Absolutely not true because you, there's another shift you need to make in your transformation. Because the moment the force field is demolished, the unresolved issues or baggage from the past start hounding you, start bubbling up and holding you back. It's like when you're out with a new date and your ex keeps calling. Uh, <laughs> so if you don't know how to overcome the past and let it all go and awaken your superpower, you will rebuild that force field around you. And that big anchor will hold you back and slow you down from achieving your dreams. You know, it's like a big anchor holding back your success ship. And I, I know this is totally counterintuitive, but that's the truth. And I'm going to tell you exactly how to overcome it in the next few slides. Because if you overcome your past, then you will be able to awaken your superpower. And this is the biggest, this is one of the biggest things we need to work on together. So let's get started on it right away. And within the time constraints we have, I want to give you the best I can in this short presentation. And I can give you so many powerful tools, strategies, transformations for this. For now, here is a strategy, a very powerful strategy to help you shift. By the way, research by experts in this field has shown that only 5% of people become really successful. It's because we are only, only using somewhere around 5% of our potential due to our own self-imposed limitations, usually because someone years ago told us we couldn't do something. And we believe them. We accepted it as true. So for now, here's a strategy to help you shift if there's a negative event or self-doubt, trauma, negative experience, or just limiting beliefs about yourself. Okay, so here's how. For any of your limitations, limiting beliefs, I can't because, I'm not enough, I'm not strong enough, smart enough, really any, any I can't because, use the following steps. Set yourself a great goal, very specific of what you want to achieve. Find a person who already is a superhero for you and find their worldview, their self-view, their beliefs about themselves and their career. Step three, create the identity of the person who you need to become in order to get that goal modeling after this amazing person while being yourself too because it is yourself it's just been blocked you know you already are that person at your core it's just been blocked or limited step four is to do your best to be that person every day realizing that no one is perfect and failure is only learning and feedback and to never ever ever give up it's a test from life to make sure you are a hundred percent committed to your goal that's the secret And this is my mission to change this for people. So I'll tell you about Clarice, a little story about Clarice. She was so worried about being in the next round of layoffs or that people wouldn't like her and she wanted promotions that she let people treat her however she liked. She didn't have any boundaries with management or leadership or even her colleagues. And she was doing way, way more work than she should have been, burning herself out at times. She wasn't paid what she was worth and people weren't seeing her value. And since working with me, Clarice has opened and awakened her superpower, and she has received both a raise and a promotion, and she loves her new job. 
which is amazing. Awakening her superpower and allowing everyone to see her amazing superpower and focusing on what she loves to do, now she's seen as highly, highly valuable. Management doesn't know what they would do without her now, when before they didn't know why they had her there. Even her health, her energy, her weight has all improved. It's amazing. It's, it's been marvelous to see her and watch her. It's been amazing. And this is Chloe's M, and she's now an operations director for a major healthcare provider. So the bottom line here, in summary, find an ambitious goal that excites you, then find a superhero to you. Doesn't matter if it's a superhero to anyone else, to you who you can model and then create that picture or feeling of your best self to get there faster and easier. Shift number three, reclaim your victorious self. If you do not change your thinking and your strategies, you are doomed to repeat the same mistakes and stay stuck. How many things, pattern cycles do you see that you're just repeating and not moving forward on? Once you dismantle the force field and once you overcome the baggage, you might think that you will feel totally peaceful. Well, yes and no. This is why we have this shift. And remember that nothing is impossible. Even the word itself says, I'm possible. And that's a quote from Audrey Hepburn. So this is absolutely critical. If you don't know how to reclaim your victorious self, you will more than likely fall back into the old ways in the face of confusion and stress. So let's say you've overcome the force field. Let's say you've awakened your superpower. How do you make sure you stay successful? Well, you do that by reclaiming your victorious self. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, these new habits you're building need to become part of who you are so it actually sticks. And that means if you've been seeing yourself as powerless, broken, weak, limited, less than, anything negative or anything disempowering, it's time to let go of that. You must let go of that, in fact, to reclaim your victorious self. Here's an interesting quote. Roland May said, the opposite of courage in our society is not cowardice, it's conformity. We're all trying to be like everyone else. This is so why today so many people are anxious, lost, confused, depressed, stressed. It's why people are not happy these days. People are, are trying to be just likable. They're acting and thinking like everyone else, following everyone else, trying to look good or feed their ego or trying to please everyone, often without even knowing why or where they are going. People are so afraid these days of looking bad they want to be so likable. They're trying to look good so hard and they stifle their self-expression, which is what makes you know, people really like you, is your self-expression, is, is being real and honest. You know. So this shift also means you, might, you need to start seeing you as a leader, as an influencer, as someone who's strong, powerful, and highly valuable and ultimately lovable. And here's how we do that. So your identity is basically what you believe about yourself. And in order to change your identity, you need to change what you believe about yourself. Remember, it's hard or even nearly impossible to fake it. That's the core reason why many people are not getting promoted, heard, or valued. This is really the core reason. So you may be thinking, I believe great things about myself. I am great, I believe great things about myself, but when you go through really, really tough things in your life, stressful situations, bad situations, do you still believe that? When push comes to shove and in stressful times, your real identity and these really deeper beliefs show up. This is the real stuff. This is the real you that shows up. These deeper beliefs come up. So this is a belief table. And to change this, you need to find out what you believe about yourself currently. I don't know what you believe currently, so I can't address that specifically on this session, but when we work together, this is something that I will be able to help you find out and to shift this. So this belief table, be honest with yourself. Be brutally honest. What are some of the negative things that you believe about yourself? Write them down. What does that monkey or the gremlin on your mind or the devil on your back say to you? Write that down. Or what did someone say to you when you were younger that got stuck in your mind and still comes up once in a while or often and that holds you back? Let's say you feel powerless or not good enough or not lovable. What's your evidence for that? What's the evidence that's there? How is it preventing you? Write these three questions down, then we'll work on this later, preferably as soon as we conclude today so you actually do it and it's fresh in your mind as well. You can put that in a chart as well if you like. And of course, we can work on that together, right? So what are the evidence that these beliefs are not there, these negative beliefs. How is it preventing you? And what are the beliefs? Now, 
we can look at, is it really true that you're not, insert word here, lovable, powerful, worthy, or worth it? Is it really true you're not capable, too shy, too afraid, you can't do it, you're not smart enough, not good enough, etc.? Is it really true? What is the opposite of those limiting beliefs? And what are the opposite beliefs to all of this? And write them all down too. Before we talk about Candace's story, I'll just touch a little more on this. So write down all these beliefs and the opposites, right? Write down multiple, multiple, multiple examples and proof that cancel out these negative beliefs and that are proof to your unconscious mind that you are awesome because you are. By the way, uh, this is just one small piece of what we will be doing. Uh, you know, all your problems will not be solved with just this one change. And together, later, I will show you how to quickly eliminate these. For now, use this amazing, powerful tool and use it again and again when things come up. So a little story about Candace. Candace came to me a long time ago because she said she was lost and confused. She felt empty. She felt lacking direction and lacking her true purpose. Her biggest complaint to me? Well, she couldn't be herself. She wasn't being her real self. She didn't realize that this was why she wasn't getting promoted and why she was getting passed by. Throughout her life, she had become, you know, someone that wasn't her. And it was affecting her career and her health and her happiness. She started consuming a lot more wine and food that wasn't good for her just to feel good. And people could see at work that she wasn't being real or authentic. And it cost her a lot in her career, a lot of success and a lot of money. People didn't trust her. People didn't see her value. They felt she was hiding something. She, they, they knew she wasn't being her real self. And they, you know, people don't like that, right? They didn't listen to her. They treated her like she was stupid, even though her and I knew she, that she was brilliant and talented. And she, she is. People couldn't see that, though. So I helped her reclaim her victorious self and discover who the real person was. And, and, and we had her give herself permission to be that amazing, powerful person and create sovereignty in herself, in her career, in her life. And it created a profound shift in her. She learned that when she spoke up, she was real with people, was authentic, avoided worrying about the haters and just spoke up and, and was her natural, authentic self and said what she needed to say while speaking from the heart, even if it was harsh, even if she had to give people real talk or tough talk sometime. She realized that at the same time, she did all this and she held her boundaries. She got what she wanted in her career. It even changed in her personal life too. She got recognized. People began to see her value, to respect her, trust her, and ask for her, her, for her opinion. Even being invited to more and more important meetings and roundtables because people wanted her opinion. They wanted to know. She was so valued. They wanted her there. She was basically mandatory at all these meetings and roundtables because she had so much to give. So she was a very bright woman, just like you. And so when she actually started to speak up, mind you, with confidence and conviction, and that is the key, speak up with confidence and conviction, others were impressed. Others listened. This led to a kick-ass promotion to the position she had waited for for years. This shift is that powerful and inspiring. And that's Candace P. She is a senior sales manager at a financial investment company. So... Again, you must work on the new person you want to be. You must decide who you want to be and figure out who you really are, right? You must change your beliefs and your thinking and your strategies, especially the unconscious ones, and just go after your ideal true self. You must be caring and come from the heart and speak up. Avoid being too nice or letting people walk all over you. If you feel like someone's pushing against you, you feel someone's trying to violate you or, or take advantage of you, if you feel sick to your stomach, take advantage or hurt in some way, you must speak up. You must say something and enforce your boundaries. Stand up for yourself. Right? Good. Shift number four. Execute with power and intelligence. See, power is dangerous without intelligence. Intelligence is useless without power and action. And inaction or not executing either creates nothing or worse, you keep falling behind. Remember that song, I've got the power. I think it was by Snap back in the like, early 90s. Again, we need to execute with power and intelligence. If we don't have both of those, we, I mean, there's no point really. It's so, so important. If you have lots of energy, power, drive, and action, but no direction and no intelligence to that action, you are simply going to be busy doing all the things that you should not do, doing things that should not be done at all, and actually getting nothing useful done, right? I mean, how many times do we do that in our day? How many times do you see people doing that? They're getting nothing useful done, but they're, they're busy. They're busy being busy, and they're often burnt out. Without intelligent action, you'll be stressed and burnt out and frustrated and unhappy. It's not a good place. 
not executing or taking action is kind of like, you know, even though you have a great plan and you know your destination, it's kind of like a wild horse tied up to a post when all it wants to do is run free, right? So we're going to teach you four steps to change and succeed. But first, think about something here. The richest place in the world is the graveyard. So many people take so many ideas, great books, great ideas and plans to the grave with them. There was a survey done a number of years ago uh, in a lot of the geriatric care homes and old age homes when people were on their deathbed. You know what those people said? They didn't regret losing time or money trying something, didn't regret looking bad, didn't regret failing, didn't regret trying something new and have setbacks or told no 20 times. What they did regret was not doing what they wanted, not doing what filled them up and not following their passions and their purpose and just doing what they loved, taking action and being their real self. So here's four powerful steps to change and succeed. The first one is know your must outcome, not, oh, I should do this, I should do that. People should all over themselves, right? <laughs> know your must outcome. What do, I must, what do I must do? What must I have to do to succeed? What must I do? Versus, oh, I should do this, or I want to do this. What must I do? Take intelligent action. Again, action without intelligence is useless. You're just, it's like you're on a treadmill, running and going nowhere, spending tons and tons and tons of energy. So take intelligent actions and research. Find ways to do it. Uh, you know, research, plan, think, strategize, find intelligent actions to take and then take them. Step three is to refine your approach. Consistently refine what's working, what's not working, do more of what's working and tweak that, do less of what's not working. Learn from that, learn from your failures and completely consistently refine your approach always. Always be doing this. Completely always refine your approach and monitor and focus on your results. So be focused on the goal, keep your eye on the prize, focus on what you want, avoid getting distracted by shiny objects or things that are distracting you or taking you away from your, your, your goal. Focus on your goal, focus on your results, and again, monitor. And then you know whether you're achieving it and whether you know you need to adjust and kind of think things over again. The fast path to change and succeed. Here's the key, here's the supercharger, here's the extra energy for this too, this tool. So again, know your must outcome and commit to it. Absolutely, absolutely commit to it, no matter what, obviously, obviously legal, ethical, and moral. Know, you know your must outcome and commit to it. And my suggestion is find an amazing mentor that you love who's gonna help you commit to it, help you get clarity on it as well, and help you get clarity on that. Take intelligent action. Again, an expert mentor will help you with this. You don't want to be doing trial and error. It's going to take so much longer and cost you so much more time and energy to get there and more heartbreak. So find an expert mentor to take intelligent action. Refine your approach. The expert mentor will help you see your blind spot. So find an amazing, amazing mentor who's been there before, had this experience, and who can do it and help and empower you to refine your approach. They see your blind spots. They can hold the mirror up to you. They see the things you don't because you're too deep in it. You're too close to it. Again, monitor and focus on your results. This is how you can dramatically speed things up. And this is why an expert mentor is so, so powerful and so useful, right? Because they're going to help you keep continuing, focus, monitor. They're going to remind you on the bad days. They're going to empower you and help you celebrate on the good days. I'll tell you a bit about the story about myself. When I was, I was 60 pounds heavier years ago and you know, the, the outcome I had to get was to lose weight. I was low energy. I was sick. I wasn't feeling well. I didn't like the way I felt or looked. I had to get this outcome. This was my must outcome. And so I took intelligent action. I did research. I learned and committed to myself. Then when things weren't working as well as I wanted, I got an expert mentor. They helped me take intelligent actions and they showed me how to quickly move towards what I wanted. I was no longer wasting time and energy. We constantly refined my approach based on what was working for me and what was not working for me. And again, this sped up my progress even more. Then my mentor monitored and helped me monitor my results, continually adjust, had me focus, celebrated successes, uh, pumped me up and took me up to a great place when I was not being successful or having, having trouble and frustrated and helped me focus by being, instead of being all over the place, she helped me focus, which was amazing. So hashtag, don't do this at home. Hashtag, don't do it alone. Avoid doing this at home. Avoid doing this alone. You get there way faster, way easier, way less heartbreak by having an expert mentor. Let me tell you Rebecca's story, actually, because she did this process, too. We took everyone through this process. 
Rebecca was a people pleaser. She wanted everyone to like her and she wouldn't rock the boat. And ironically, it ended up that no one liked her, not even upper management and not even her staff, not even her teams liked her. She was not seen as valuable as she wouldn't speak up in meetings or share her thoughts and ideas. She wouldn't even give feedback when she thought an idea was a bad one, let alone a good one. She couldn't advocate on behalf of herself and defend herself, defend her staff. You know, she couldn't even defend her staff from upper management. And of course, uh, you know, she didn't assert herself, obviously, and effectively lead her staff. So her staff didn't like her because she didn't shield them from upper management. And upper management didn't like her because she didn't effectively lead and assert leadership on her staff. So it was, it was a two-pronged, uh, you know, people disliking her, which is a shame. So she came to me and we helped her clarify her must outcome, what she wanted, what she had to achieve, what she must do to get there. Then I helped her take the right, intelligent, effective actions towards these goals, and we refined this approach over and over and over to get there faster and more effectively. What was working for her, what didn't, figure out why it didn't work, and help her get there, help her make things work for her. I helped her focus on what she wanted. Forget about the failures, forget about what didn't work, forget about what people thought of her, and forget worrying about what people thought of her. And instead of just focus on creating results versus just being busy or just business, right? So we constantly refined her actions and consistently did this to get her big, big results. And now she's become well-liked at work, both by her staff, because she's leading them, helping them, defending them, empowering them. And she's loved by leadership because she's leading her staff, having a highly, highly effective team. In fact, now one of the best teams and most effective teams at work. It's been incredible. She's become quite influential and has an even been offered contract extensions during times of layoffs at the company. She was guaranteed job promotions, extra pay, and longer contracts when other people were being laid off. Isn't that incredible? So this is Rebecca R. She is a operations director at a multinational consulting firm. So if you want to work trial and error and, and do it all on your own, those are the four steps to get there eventually. If you want the fast path or the fast track, hire a mentor who can guide you. By the way, if you are one of those driven individuals who wants to grow your career to the next level, again, hire a mentor. Now, here's a question. How do you know who is the best mentor for you to work with, right? So this is a diagram on, on traits of a great mentor and traits that I feel will make an amazing mentor for you. So number one, they're powerful tools and strategies. They have some amazing tools and amazing strategies, amazing training to help get you there. And they can teach you how to be effective, how to get there fast and effectively the right way. They are trustworthy and they're experienced. They've helped people like this before. They've had tools before. They've helped themselves before. They've gotten there before. And you trust them. There's that rapport and trust there. Number three is they give you real support, not just platitudes, not just rah, rah, rah. They give you real support, celebrate with you when you're up, lift you up when you're down, and they hold you accountable to what you want to do, your actions, your goals, and what it is you want. They remind you about what you want and help you get through the tough times. Number four, they're caring and they're compassionate. They're you know, loving versus nice, so to speak, right? They, sometimes tough love is, is, is essential, and they care about you and their compassion and understanding as well, but caring enough to push you sometimes when you need it and push you past your fears because everything you want is just right on the other side of your fear. So having them there to push you past that fear and just do it, scared as hell, do it anyways, that is essential. Number five, lives by what they teach. They walk the talk. They're not a mentor you know, during the day and by night they're a jerk, for example. You know, They live what they teach. They, they live what they preach. They walk the talk. And they're congruent with what they say and what they tell you to do. They're, they're doing it too, right? Number six, they have a step-by-step -step success system to get you there. Not, well, let's see what happens. Let's see what sticks. No, they have a success system that's step-by-step -step that'll get you there. And that's proven to work. And that is essential. So not executing, not actioning with intelligence. Even though you have a great plan, destination, knowing where you need to go, what you need to know, but not moving is like a wild horse running around a track when all it wants to do is run free. And here's a cool quote. There's nothing quite so useless as doing with great efficiency something that should not be done at all. So know your outcome. Here's a, here's a tool. Know your outcome. Then you have two options. You know your outcome. If that's you and you know your outcome and you think you can do it yourself, that's totally fine. If you want to go far and go fast and do it way easier, 
and have less, way less heartbreak. Hire an expert mentor, an amazing mentor who's already helping other people who can help you make all these shifts quickly versus slow trial and error on your own. And they can get you to where you want to be quickly and effectively and efficiently. Again, one of the key points is an effective mentor who's, who's already done this, right? <clears throat> so today I promise you something. I promise you a step-by-step -step game plan to break through the glass ceiling, get promoted, and skyrocket your career. And this is essential. This is absolutely, absolutely essential. If you know your outcome, you can do it yourself, and you can do it with a mentor, and you will get there. I promise you that. So now today, I promise you the four-step game plan to break through the glass ceiling, get promoted, and skyrocket your career. So what you need to do to win, dare to be great, D-A-R-E. D, shift one is demolish the force field. A, awaken your superpower was shift two. R, reclaim your victorious self was shift three. And number four, execute with power and intelligence was shift four. Dare, dare to be great, because you are great. Now, you have a choice, you have a choice. You can forget about all I taught about today and all I talked about and go back to what you were doing. Now, before you do that, remember that this is the blueprint I've just taught you. This is a blueprint our clients are following to skyrocket their careers, their income, their enjoyment, their fulfillment, their freedom, and their sovereignty over their life and their careers. So you can forget about what I taught today and go back to what you were doing. And even worse, waste money, uh, you know, lose time, lose energy, lose money, lose promotions, lose raises, be unfulfilled, be unhappy. Or you can demolish the force field, awaken your superpower, reclaim your victorious self, execute with power and intelligence, speak up, stand out, command respect and attention, and have people see you as highly valuable because you are. So this is the way to get promoted. This is the way to get people to really genuinely like you and want to work with you, promote you, value you. This is the way to do it. This is the way to skyrocket your career. So how I can help? Well, my team and I have set aside some time in the next 48 hours to speak, to speak with you personally about how you can apply these ideas to your career starting today. Whatever your biggest challenges are, we've seen it and we know how to overcome it. We'll get on the phone and we'll have this session. We'll craft with you a step-by-step -step game plan. And on this session, we'll work with you to craft this game plan to hit your career and income goals. And the cost is absolutely free. That's the great news. But this, this is not for everyone, by the way. This is not for you if you're a dabbler or indecisive or refuse to take action and push past your fear. We will help you. We'll manage that with you. But if you need to be the one that walks through the door, this is not for you if you want results with no effort. If you're looking for a get rich quick scheme, this is not for you. This is creating a solid foundation. That way, yes, you can quickly get to your goals and, and your dreams, but you need to do the work. And this is not for you if you're not highly committed to achieving your goals and dreams. However, this is for you if you're a professional woman, you're good at what you do. Remember, no one's perfect. Avoid worrying if you're not great or you don't think you're great at what you do or perfect or whatever. You must have a drive to grow to the next level. Why do I do this? Why do I do this? Well, I do this because I love giving back. I love helping these professional women and these people just skyrocket their career, achieve their goals and be happy and live life highly fulfilled and even getting time back in their life because they're working far more effectively. Plus, I know you might want my help to transform your career. If so, we could discuss it and see if it's a good fit for both of us. If not, that's cool too. So what I would like you to do is book a free Skyrocket Your Business Strategy and Clarity session if you found this valuable and if you want to take your career to the next level. If you'd like to do this, I encourage you, call us, talk to us. We would love to speak with you. This is what we love to do. So go to www.unleashyourpower.com slash book now. And that is the first step to taking action. And that is the end of our talk. Thank you for joining us today. Go have your best day ever. Unleash your potential and go get what you want in your life today, not tomorrow, not next year, today. Thanks. Be well. Go have your best day ever. Take care.